Vitor only went out for two games. Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Thanks for pressing play once again. I'm the man they call Pixel Paul and I buy games. Lots of games. I collect games. I love collecting games. It's what I do. Maybe too many. Who knows? Who's to say? But yeah, I buy games. I have been buying games. I don't normally do midweek gaming pickup videos, but this week I thought I'll, uh, I'll fit this one in um, because I have picked up a few. I went out with good intentions. Honestly, I went to buy two games. There were two games that I knew were in stock in CEX uh, and in Gremlins games, who I've spoken about before, in Lee, uh, in the northwest of England. I knew they had them in stock. One I checked on the app, so I knew it was there. The other one I'd seen in uh, the video I did at Gremlins games a couple of weeks ago. I totally missed it when I was in there, but when I watched my footage back, I saw that they had it. It's a game that's been on my hit list for a while, so yeah, that was my intention. That game from CEX. That game from Gremlins Games, get them, job done. <laughs> never, the, never the way it goes though, is it? I can't resist, I just can't help it. So, I'm going to show you the games that I've picked up. Firstly, I want to show you something else though, something a little interesting, um, that I got a week or two ago from Smith's Toys. Now, I'm not one for buying that much in the way of, sort of gaming merch or you know, toys or memorabilia and that sort of thing, but I saw this in there. And it really caught my eye. I'd never seen a toy of this nature before. I'd never seen it based on this character. And as soon as I saw it, um, I wanted it. I didn't get it straight away. I'd actually had to go back and, you know, I sort of thought it over and mulled it over and went back eventually and, and went to go and pick it up. So what I'm talking about is this Metroid figure. And it's really cool. A little Metroid Samus figure. Now you're wondering, well, where is it? Well, yeah, I've taken it out of the box. Carefully, I was very careful not to rip the packaging. Um, but the actual toy or figure itself is there. And I think it's really smart. So I've got that up on my shelves now. Um, and uh, yeah, like fully poseable, very detailed. That's the phase on suit Samus. Um, so yeah, I think it's really smart that I love it. Um, and I had to pick it up. Uh, it was 9 99 now, in Smith's, when I went in, they had the same Saran figure, but they also had a couple of others. They had um, Link and um, Zelda, Princess Zelda as well. So there were three figures, and they're all sort of made from, they're made in this same uh, sort of series, I think, of, of um, toys. They're made by Jack's Pacific, um, but like I say, I'd never seen them before. $9.99 each. But I think those three figures, are, I, I posted this a picture of uh, Samus on Instagram and loads of people are asking me about it. Where did you get it from? How much was it? Where can you, you know, can you order them online? Blah, 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 blah. So I think a lot of people are looking to get these now. So if you can find them, I think they're quite collectible. I think they're quite worth picking up. And like I say, they are quite cool. This Samus figure is pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, I'm going to put her on the shelves behind me. But anyway, that's going off on a slightly different tangent. Let's get on to the games, shall we? Okay, so like I said, good intentions. I went out just to get the two games and um, I'll show you which those two games were first. Uh, and the, so like I said before, the first one was from Gremlins Games. I'd spotted it in the footage when I watched it back when I was in there a couple of weeks ago following their big refurb and move to a bigger unit. Um, saw it in amongst the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation shelves. Um, and this is a game I've been after for a while, so I went back and they still had it, thankfully, and I had to grab it this time, and it is Chase the Express on the PlayStation, and that was £6, which I think is roughly, I think it is the same that it is going for in CEX at the moment. Um, now, I've heard about this game, I've seen a bit about this game, wasn't 100% sure what it was like or what it was, um, what kind of game it was, Um but it just something about that, that front cover and the name just sort of, it's always grabbed me. I've always thought I, I should play that. I want to give it a go. And I have now given it a go. How do, how do I explain it? Well, I'd say if you think of Metal Gear, Solid and Siphon Filter mixed with the plots of Under Siege 2 and Air Force 1, that's pretty much what you've got. 
Um, yeah, along those lines. It's kind of done as in like a, almost like a Resident Evil type game. You know, it's sort of tank controls. It's a little bit clunky. It's a little bit of its time. But the, the soundtrack is amazing. And it's very, very sort of cinematic as well. It's done really well. Some of the dialogue is a little bit cheesy, I've got to say. Um, but so far, what I've played of it, I've quite enjoyed it. And I can see me trying to sort of finish this game. Um, it's a nice two-disker as well. So two discs, I'll show you quickly. Two discs, uh, instruction booklet as well and everything. So yeah, I'm really pleased to, to get that one. That's... Uh, a PlayStation game that, yeah, I've been after for a while and it's the first time it's a PlayStation game that's really kind of grabbed me and thought, yeah, this needs to be played. So happy to pick that one up. And then the next one is a PlayStation 3 game. And again, this is a game that I've seen around quite a bit, a little bit less recently, perhaps. It's really cheap. It was only £1.50. It's a bit of a gamble, this one, um, because it's a game that needs the PlayStation Move. Now, I have now got two PlayStation Move controllers, which I got with my VR headset. I also have the PlayStation camera. Now, whether that PlayStation camera is compatible with PlayStation 3, I'm not 100% sure. I've not tested, I've not tried it yet. Maybe some of you will let me know in the comments whether like the sort of newer PlayStation VR camera will work with a PlayStation 3. We'll see. Um, if it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not that fussed. It's, I'd, li I'd like to play this game. I'd like to give it a go. Um, but if not, it's £1.50 and probably it's worth it for just the cover. And the game is PlayStation Move Heroes. So I don't know a huge amount about this game, but I've known of it. And that's basically because what an iconic PlayStation cover that is with, you know, three, six, I suppose. Um, absolutely sort of iconic characters from the PlayStation uh, library, if you like. Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, Sly Raccoon. Epic game. Why don't they make more games like that with these characters, these kind of crossovers? I really wish they would. Um, but uh, unlikely to happen again, perhaps. But yeah, so this is it's a PlayStation Move game. I don't I don't hundred percent know what the game is about, what you have to do in it, because obviously it's a move game, so it's probably a bit gimmicky. Um, but even either way, um, yeah, I just think it's really amazing looking. The inner sleeve's got quite an epic cover, or inner cover, shall I say show you that quickly i don't know where it, oh it does so it's got all the six characters there from the three game series so yeah i just for one pound 50 playstation fan got to be done hasn't it so so yeah those were the two games that i did go with the intention of buying cheers everyone so yeah you all know me well enough by now that was never going to happen i was never just going to go and buy the two games something else was going to catch my eye and um, yeah, plenty did catch my eye and I've come away with a few others, <laughs> a few. So I'll show you what I've got. Um, the first one isn't a game. Um, it's a PlayStation Portable PSP UMD movie. Now I don't have any other UMD movies for the PSP, um, but I saw this one in CEX and um, I just had to pick it up. It was £2.50, Transformers the movie. Uh, just because it's such an epic cover, epic film with an epic soundtrack, that 80s rock or soft rock kind of soundtrack to it. Um, is it the greatest animated movie ever? No, they kill all the characters off in the first what, half an hour of the film, um, which as a young Transformers fan, I was absolutely devastated by. Um, but we know the reasons why they did it. Um, but yeah, just an amazing film. Um, so it's yeah, I, I tried it, put it on the PSP, and it looks great on there. It's made me think about maybe picking up a few other UMD movies. Um, so I might start to have a look around. I'd love to get G.I. Joe the movie, because that is an epic animated movie. Tons better than this. Um, so if I can find that, if they did have a copy of that or a version of it, I will be looking to get that as well. But Transformers the movie, UMD, just thought I'd show that. £2.50. So, on to the games. Uh, next up, I got Tom Clancy's Hawks 2 for £1.50 on the Xbox 360. Um, I not really, I have got Tom Clancy's Hawks 1, Hawks, uh, on the PlayStation 3, but I've for some reason, Hawks 2 has always eluded me, maybe because I wasn't 100% sure which one I got. Um, but yeah, now I've got Hawks 2. Aerial combat game, do like those. So, um, yeah, looking forward to giving that a go. 
one pound fifty for an Xbox 360 game as well. You can't go wrong, can you? How many? There's not that many one pound fifty games left that I haven't got anyway. So Tom Clancy's Hawks, and then we've got a selection of VR games because I'm still on the hunt for VR games. So first up, I got uh, Until Dawn: Rush of Blood, uh, which isn't the game I thought it was actually. I was expecting this to be some sort of VR survival horror, but it actually sounds like it's more like an Unreal's shooter type game. So yeah, we'll see what that one's like. Another one for the VR collection. Uh, Skyrim VR, that was four pounds. Sorry, Russia Blood was four pounds as well. But yeah, Skyrim VR as well, that's four pounds. I've been warned with this game. Uh, it was a bit random actually, but it was the guy in CEX told me not to use the crossbow in this because when you use the crossbow in it, it makes the screen go a bit weird and it can cause a little bit of motion sickness so if that's true let me know in the comments if you played this and using the crossbow or the bow and arrow or something does that um let me know but yeah skyrim probably the third fourth version of skyrim i've got but obviously this is in vr so it will be uh, an interesting experience but yeah thought i'd get that for four pound impulse buy coming up warning um had I seen this game as just a standard PlayStation 4 VR game, I may not have picked it up. No, that's not true, actually. I, to be honest, this is three things that I'm quite into at the moment. So Steelbooks, you know, I love a Steelbook, VR, and The Walking Dead. And it's The Walking Dead Onslaught. And that was £8, so a bit more pricey uh, for a VR game. But uh, yeah, like I say, the, the, this is a really nice looking steel book. The outer sleeve is in really nice condition as well. Uh, but yeah, nice little steel book, this one. Very sort of uh, epic kind of, almost like Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of lettering on the front there. Uh, nothing on the back particularly. Um, but yeah, just another nice steel book. It was nice and complete as well. There's two postcards in there. And I'm... <laughs> very late to the party with The Walking Dead. So I've only just recently started to watch it. Um, I've watched the first few episodes and the football started, so I've not watched any yet, uh, more since. Um, but I am really quite enjoying The Walking Dead. So I'm not a massive TV fan. I don't binge watch TV shows or anything like that. I'd rather be just playing games. Um, so yeah, I don't watch a huge amount of TV, but I have started to watch The Walking Dead and I've got a lot of catching up to do. Um, but yeah, so when I saw that, I thought, Steelbook, Walking Dead, VR, grab it, got to get it. So yeah, Walking Dead Onslaught, we'll see what that one's like. Looks all right. Next up, and I'm going to blame uh, one of my followers on Instagram. It's Mitchie, um, because he put this thought into my head all about Borderlands. The fact that the Borderlands movie is on its way. I think it's on its way. I don't think it's arrived yet, has it? It's on its way. And is the potential there for the Borderlands games to start going up in price a little bit? Um, so I, I saw this one and uh, thought, well, I haven't got this one. I've got the other three. Um, so I'll pick this one up as well while it's still cheap. It's £1.50 at the moment. PlayStation 3, Borderlands the pre-sequel. So, yeah, I just thought, I've got the other three. Let's grab this one while I still can, while the price is still nice and cheap which £1.50 is, isn't it, really? And, uh, yeah, we'll see what that's like. Um, I'm not quite sure what... Or is that supposed to be played before you play Borderlands 1? I don't know, um, because I've not played any of them yet. Um, but, yeah, Borderlands, the pre-sequel. And just because, again, it was cheap, it's an Xbox 360 game, it's £1.50. Um, I picked this one up as well. Borderlands Game of the Year edition, £1.50 Xbox. Um, game of the Year edition. I've got the bog standard version of it on the PlayStation 3, um, but this has got other stuff on it. If someone hasn't used the code, we'll see. But yeah, £1.50. I thought I'd get that in now, just in case the prices do skyrocket and I kind of regret that fear of missing out, which I told you all not to submit to weeks and weeks ago, but here I am buying Xbox 360 games. Uh, next up, so these ones are from Gremlins Games now. So they were all from CEX. These are from Gremlins Games. Now this one... I've got this one on PlayStation 3 already, I must admit. Um, but I was watching a video by Dan the Games Man 
brilliant YouTuber, excellent channel. Please give him a, a drop him a subscribe, check out his channel because it's absolutely amazing. Uh, but he did a video a week or two ago about games that you can still buy physically, but that has all its downloadable content included, which makes absolute sense. It's a, it's a, it's a no brainer really to pick up some of those games that um, you know, you may not be able to get with all the downloadable content attached to it online. So yeah, just watch his video because it was really eye-opening actually, some of the games that he suggested. This was one of the games that he did suggest and it's Injustice Gods Among Us and this is the Ultimate Edition. So I've got the Standard Edition but the Ultimate Edition comes with the extra characters, you know, your Lobo and uh, Batgirl, Zatanna, Martian Manhunter. So um, yeah, it was £4 that one which I think is a little bit under the CEX price, I think, at the moment. I could be wrong, but um, at £4, I thought I'd pick that one up. Um, and I do love this game. I think it's a really decent beat-em-up, personally. I wasn't as keen on the second one, but this one I really do like, so Injustice. And the next one from Gremlins Games, this is a £1 Xbox 360 game. One that I was not aware of. I've never seen this before. I've never seen it in CEX anywhere. Um, there's not all that many copies of it either when I checked the app, um, but I think it goes for £4 in CEX um, and I've picked this up for a pound and it's called Carrier Command Gaia Mission. Um, yeah, I'd never seen this game before and it's an absolutely almost as good as new condition. It's, it's a really nice, it even still feels quite smooth and clean and soft, um, which I know sounds weird. But yeah, it just, it kind of, um, I saw it on the side in the, in the shelves like that and just thought, I've never seen that spine before. I've never seen that name. Carrier Command, Gaia Mission. Um, not 100% what it's about. I think it's a strategy game based on being on a, on a boat, I think, on like a carrier ship. Um, but there's like on land missions, sea missions, that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm assuming it's a bit of a real-time strategy. Um, but at a pound, yeah, an Xbox 360 game that I've never heard of before. I was not leaving that. Definitely not. And then the last two games so were two more PlayStation 1 games, actually. Again, both from Gremlins Games. Uh, and both games, a bit like Chase the Express, are games that I've heard of, I know of, but just never played. So I just thought at the prices that uh, they were marked up at, I thought I would grab them this time. Uh, the first one is Scars which is a weird kind of future racer type. It's a bit of a weird one to explain. It's like a, it's like a almost roll cage stage one kind of game mixed with a bit of wipeout, but with animals as well. Um, it's half animal, half machine, weird in a way. Um, it's not the greatest game ever, um, but it does what it does. It's not too bad at all. I think there was a N64 version of this, which goes for ridiculous money, like like really ridiculous money, um, because it's not the world's best game, but it's just, uh, but this was two pounds. So uh, yeah, two quid. I thought I'd grab that one and give it a go. And then another one, which I knew of, it's quite an old one, this one actually, uh, but never played. I don't think I played a demo of this actually. No, I don't think it did. Uh, again, this was only £2, and it's the Tunnel B1. Uh, again, how do I explain this one? So, if you think of... It's almost a bit like a descent type of game, in a way, where you're kind of piloting a craft around tunnels um, and shooting stuff, basically. But there's no sort of 360 uh, turning or anything like that. So, it's a bit of a weird one. But, um, yeah, I've played it a little bit, and it's all right. It's, it's a bit rough and ready, a bit rough around the edges. Controls could have done with some strafe buttons because there's no strafe buttons in it. I mean, when you're controlling a, a ship that's going and dodging uh, bullets and all sorts, it's a bit strange to not have a strafe button. Um, but other than that, it's all right. And it has a really nice soundtrack to it, actually. Really banging kind of soundtrack to it. Um, and it moves along at a fair pace as well. So, yeah, Tunnel B1, interesting game. Um, if I show you the back, it's not really going to show you much of what the game's about. It's hard to explain. Watch some YouTube channel, YouTube videos on what it's, uh, on, it'll show you some gameplay maybe of it. But yeah, unusual, but for two pounds, yeah, happy to pick that one up as well. That's it, that's the pickups for this week, short and sweet. Um, but yeah, covering all bases I think there really. So I've picked up some epic movies, uh, some obscure Xbox 360, some nice retro, and some nice VR as well. And of course, I managed to pick up the two games that I actually went out for in the end. 
So, thanks for watching as ever. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, if you can hit that subscription button, that would be very much appreciated. And I'll see you for the next one.